You guys, I won the Hairlicious Castor Oil Challenge. I won the Hairlicious Castor Oil Challenge, me. I don't even know what to say. speechless like she really chose me like i'm super speechless i'm grateful but i'm super duper speechless like if you don't follow my instagram follow it at underscore jasmine knows best um wow i posted on there um Thanking everyone that pretty much helped me along this cast the oil challenge. And by help, I mean like letting me know what oils to try, having me try out oils. Um, I get my Jamaican black castor oil from Jamaica. And I have a friend who um, does the LMO oil that I was using. It's the Egyptian black castor oil, and uh, she sells that from her company, so I was using that. Again, that drops on the 29th, but she is doing a pre-sale for the 18th of January. I did my thank yous, and I'm super duper speechless. I don't even know, like, literally what to say, but I just wanted to tell you guys how i found hairlicious i was going through it with my hair i want to say about 2009 um i graduated high school was about to start college and i was just like what am i gonna do with my hair while i'm like head in books what am i going to do with my appearance like what is this on my head am i going to stay natural am i going to be relaxed what am i going to do so i started looking up you know hair care tips and things like that on google bing yahoo any search engine i could find i was looking for ways to take care of my hair and then i discovered youtube because i used to use youtube just to listen to music um, when my mom didn't want to buy me an album, um, I would listen to it on YouTube. You know how everyone used to do the lyric videos? So I discovered You Love Megs on YouTube. And, you know, she was talking about the Hair Lista Hair Care Forum. And that's how I found Val, who is Hairlicious. Uh, through that forum and there was a bunch of ladies on there most of them were relaxed that you know were up there sharing information about how they care for their hair things that they were going through seeing if someone can help them get through whatever they were going through like let's say for instance uh, postpartum shedding um, traction alopecia things like that um, getting over a length bump or whatever you call that length plateau is actually what it's called so um yeah i started following her i actually went relaxed at that point i believe i was relaxed can't really remember i can't think right now but um i started following hairlicious I believe it was MySpace, then it was Facebook, then it was YouTube, then it was Instagram. So 
I knew that she did the castor oil challenges. I knew she did, um, I believe it was a coconut oil challenge. Like I said, I can't really remember. My brain is like, oh my God, you won, you won, you won, you won. Uh, so this time around when she did the castor oil challenge, with everything that was going on in 2020, I was just like, you know what? I'm in the house all day. I might as well take care of my hair and give my hair all of the attention that I couldn't give it when I was traveling back and forth to work and going this place, going that place, doing this and that. Now I have the time to actually focus on my hair. And I was pretty much focused on my hair and my skincare. And once I saw the challenge, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. And honestly, it was a way to block out all the negative energy of 2021 and just focus on something that made me happy. And taking care of my hair makes me happy. So to see the strength, the growth, the length, the shine, just the softness, to see my hair go through these changes of, all right, we getting a more healthier than we were before. Um, it just made me happy. So I pretty much used this challenge also as a mental health kick, if, if that makes any sense. I would just do the castor oil massages and, you know, scalp massages and then do my deep conditioning. And that was my time to like just clear out everything, not focus on my phone, not focus on my computer, not focus on my work computer, just focus on me and my hair health, which also helped with my mental health because I wasn't focused on anything else within that time frame besides my hair. So this challenge did a lot more for me than just grow my hair, make my hair healthier, make my hair stronger, make my hair softer, um, and you know, improve the health of my scalp. It did a lot more than that for me. So this challenge, I think that's why I'm so speechless is because I don't think everyone following me and watching what I'm doing to my hair understands how this challenge was more than just about my hair. I mean, it was something that I started because, you know, the focus was my hair and it turned into something bigger for me. So, like I said, I'm going to continue the challenge. I'm going to continue the scalp massages, continue using the castor oil on a regular basis. I'm not going to stop using it every um, other day and incorporating it into my deep conditioners. I'm staying on the same, same rules. Um not going to change anything and we'll see what happens my goal is waist length so yeah let's just see what happens moving forward i am super excited that i won this definitely makes me feel really good i'm really happy to all of the other ladies that were doing the castor oil challenge as well congratulations to you all as well because I'm pretty sure that this challenge has done something for your hair, your scalp, and hopefully we are all reaching our hair care goals with this challenge. And yeah, I am so excited. I'm gonna go to bed now. I am like, I can't stop smiling. I'm excited and yeah. Let's see what this year brings as far as happiness, mental health, hair care health, and skin care health. And I'm still on the water challenge, okay? It's day 12, okay? Drink your water, okay? Get your skin right. Get your hair right. Get your body right. Okay. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing and for sticking with me throughout this hair journey. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!
2021. <laughs> I'm already hair goals, so skin goals and I'm already money goals. So <laughs>